In South Africa, downtown Johannesburg has erupted into widespread arson, looting and vandalism as three people died in a building fire on Sunday night. CGTN's Angela Coppola has more details on that story. The trouble started in Town, but quickly spread to Hillbrow several kilometers away, where several arrests were made and there was at least one critical injury. South African Police Minister Becky Tsele dropped everything and made his way to the Jeppistown area late on Monday afternoon to assess the situation for himself. As we were walking on the street where the shops are banned, the special shop right, pep and all that, there was some smoke here. We went down there to see what's happening. I found a group of people and that group of people, they, they, they told me to go and see Nduna. So I've seen Nduna to arrange the meeting that would take place tomorrow at 2. The situation remained volatile and the police minister was in the area with only a light security detail as several hundred protesters kept moving towards him. That's why, that's why we need a meeting to speak tomorrow at 2. I'm cancelling my meetings in Cape Town because here we have an emergency to come back and deal with that emergency. There have been reports of police officers maintaining a visible presence in the looted areas, making several arrests. The shopkeepers in the areas aren't taking any chances though. The streets are deserted and shops have been closed and metal grids lowered. Definitely they have, especially where people are bending things. But more than anything, we also need to speak to the people. It's exactly what we're doing tomorrow. Let's, let's move and do this. Okay, let's go. Well, just four kilometers away from here, the streets are literally burning. This side of Johannesburg is dead quiet and calm. There's going to be more trouble tonight, though. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Johannesburg, South Africa.